Okay, it's still pretty early in the school year, but you may already be running out of lunch ideas for your kids. Have no fear. Winnie Hayes is here. <laughs> the Atlanta mom has nearly 300,000 loyal Instagram followers checking out her cute, fun lunchbox ideas and recipes, and today she's going to share them with us. I mean, this looks a little intimidating yes. for some of us. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so yeah. we're kicking off a soup season with some chicken pot pie soup. Uh, chicken pot pie soup. And yes. you put this in their, like, lunchbox? Of course. You in make it for mix? dinner. You in make a, it for dinner. Or, oh, this is their and dinner. Okay, we'll make their dinner first, then we'll make their lunch. You know. Okay. So here we have some oil and butter. Mm -hmm. We use a combination of oil and butter so that the mm -hmm. butter doesn't burn, and we're going okay. to add oh, some. Is that what oh. keeps the butter from burning? Yes. So here we have carrots, sour and, chopped it all and, up. Yes, chopped it all mm -hmm. up. Chop it so they can kind of hide it, right? Exactly, mm. yeah. Okay. Just great flavor. All right, and now we're going to add some garlic. Oh, so oh, a, wow. lot lots of of garlic. a lot of minced garlic. We okay. love garlic well, around it's here. Good for, and it's also good for kids, right? Yes. Here. And okay. it makes it tasty. A little, add a little, you know, don't be shy with the salt, salt and, and pepper. pepper. Is your kids like that. spicy? Or Are you that? adding they butter? They do. We, of course. Wow. We're going to make a well in the middle and melt the oh, butter. Sorry. Ooh, no, I like that. Fine. Yeah. That so we're basically yummy. making a roux. And okay. now we're going to add the flour. Oh, oh so you think it's all in so one pot. In all in one pot. Okay. We, can't, we don't like um, washing dishes around yeah, here. So. <laughs> all right. So once you um, mm -hmm. add the flour in here, you're going to cook it down a little bit. And then here we have milk and broth. What kind of Wait, this it's is milk, milk and broth, milk and broth. Together? yes mixed. together yes what kind yeah. of milk do you use whole milk okay yeah whole milk but you can use pretty and, much and whatever is it milk like you want. 50 50 after yes 50 milk? 50 just about okay. and we cook the chicken in there to give it more flavor actually oh, okay. so, so the chicken pieces yes. are in there okay and now we're going to add Pot some russet potatoes yeah. Yeah. and if you like sweet potatoes add sweet potatoes yeah. in there oh and then what about some the thyme are yeah. these frozen peas there are frozen peas put those in not yet we're going to dice up the chicken okay here we're gonna just okay. do a little quick dice here, just, okay, just bite sized pieces. Yep. Yeah. Yes. And then we're going to add this chicken okay. into the pot to do it. Okay. along with the sweet peas. So you add the peas at the very end? Yeah, just to warm it through. Okay. okay. Give it a quick stir. Because if it's frozen, this may sound silly, but if it's frozen peas, they've already been cooked. Exactly. Okay. We just God. need to warm it through. It Is it delicious? <laughs> oh, and then we're going to remove the thyme mm. uh, when you get ready to eat it. Look what she did. Sprinkle she put some it parsley. in a thermos. <laughs> if you put it in a thermos, does it stay warm all day? Yes, for wow. about four to six hours, yes. Mm. Oh, my God, this is so yummy. Yes, I'm so glad you oh love it. Oh, my God. Okay, let's go back and make the other <laughs> part right. of lunch. So here we are going to make some I'm taking my soup turkey and cheese pinwheels. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here we have some room temperature cream cheese, mm -hmm. a little bit of mayo. Uh -huh. Mayo and cream cheese. There. Oh, you combine them together. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And here we have some garlic powder, mm -hmm. onion powder, salt and pepper. Okay, mix all that mm -hmm. in. Okay. All right, good enough. Yeah. I just smush it all in together? Smush it all together. Okay. Here we have it right here. Okay. And now we're just going to build our little tortillas here. Okay. Can you in the middle? Okay. So we're going to just spread a little bit. Don't go all the way to yeah, the edge. Where do you put it? Oh, in the middle? Just straight up in the middle. Okay. Oh. And if your kids just like cream cheese, you could just keep just it. Whatever they, like. whatever they like. Whatever they like. And now we're going to add a little bit of turkey. And if you don't like turkey, wow. you can or use ham. Leave it rolled up. Oh, I left mine rolled, but oh, I do sure. what you do. do whatever. You do. <laughs> it works whatever. out in like Okay. A little bit of cheese. Mm-hmm. And spinach. Yes, and spinach. Or if you can use any type of greens that you like, any type of cheese that you roll like. It up. And we're just gonna roll it up super tightly oh, you like do it that. Tight. Yes, do it tightly just mm. like that. And then how do you make it so it doesn't all come unrolled? You hold it tight. Yeah. And then you cut it. And then you just cut Yes, and we're gonna cut, cut it right there. Oh, and yeah. then you put them right there. That's yeah. good. So you can cut it into like this little pinwheel yeah. rolls. Those or are cute. you can just cut it in half. Okay. I'll show you. Just cut it in half. Look at that. Mm. Oh, and then and put the two halves in. Oh, there you have it, yeah. Oh, that's so Just cute. Like that. And look, I can't handle your lunchbox. Yeah. I'm sorry. What's going on here? So here we have some crackers. We have so some cute. grapes and cheese, cucumber, mm -hmm. strawberries, and of course the pinwheels. And you know, you need a little bit of chocolate, so right? So you put a little sweet in for your kids? Always mm. put a your little kids, bit of sweetness. <laughs> that pinwheel is delicious. I want it. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. Thank you for to having make, me. We loved it. Winnie. To make these recipes at home, go to today.com slash food.